This is a quick sort of overview of the new features of the April 2019 Windows update, also known as Windows 10 version 1903. Should be coming to your computer pretty soon if it's not there already. Um, so one of the first things you'll notice is when you go to sign into your computer, um, you'll notice that the screen actually, or the picture behind it actually blurs. Um, sort of like an acrylic effect. Then once we've signed in, um, as you can see on mine, I've installed mine from a fresh, so we've got a brand new lighter Windows background. The next thing you'll notice is down here, Cortana has actually been split from the search box. That's got an icon of its own just down here. And uh, in the type to search here box, uh, that allows you to search for apps, programs and files and also settings um, on there. So Cortana has been split from the search box. That was all in, in one box before where it says type here to search. When we click on the start menu, uh, you'll notice some of the icons have slightly changed on the, on the start menu. Plus, we've also got the option, if we want to get rid of a whole section here, we can right click on the group name and uh, then we can left click unpin group from start and that removes the whole group. So if we want to remove a group of tiles, we can do that with one uh, or two clicks now. The other thing you'll notice is if you click on the head just on the start menu there that uh, the options in these menus here have got little symbols beside them now. The same with the power menu when you click that you've got symbols beside each option. Something you'll also notice is that Windows also now supports a light mode. So. Uh, if we go into the colours section here, you can uh, change the Windows mode to light, um, which basically means that the bar at the bottom becomes light and, uh, and the start menu becomes light as well. You've also got an option to change the default app mode to dark so that apps become dark on the screen. So you can have a, a bit of a reversal if you wanted to. When your computer or laptop loses its internet connection, that's also got a new icon now, a globe just down there with a cross through it. If you want to install new fonts in Windows, now it's even easier. Um, all you do is just go to the Start menu, then the Settings button, then Personalization, then Fonts. And uh, if you've downloaded a font to your PC like I have, let's just go into my Downloads folder and let's just resize that and what you can do is you can just literally drag and drop any new fonts into there. Also now in apps and features um, you can you've got some more options on uh, where you can get your apps from so by default it's set to anywhere but you can click on this drop down and say anywhere but let me know if there's a compatible app in the Microsoft Store or anywhere but warn me before installing an app that's not from the Microsoft Store or only allow your system to download and install apps from the Microsoft Store. And whilst we're in apps and features, there's even more Microsoft apps that you can now remove if you don't like the Microsoft apps, including 3D Viewer. You can now uninstall Calculator. You can uninstall, um, I understand, uh, Calendar as well. You can uninstall. Uh, Groove Music, if you don't like Groove Music, you can get rid of that. If you don't use the Mail and Calendar, there you go, Mail and Calendar all in one now, you can uninstall. Um, yeah, so there's there's a few more apps that you can now uninstall. Uh, Paint 3D as well. So Snip and Sketch, you can also uninstall. If you don't use Sticky Notes, again, you can uninstall that. And, uh, and also Voice Recorder, you can also uninstall. That's in addition to the other apps that you could uninstall on previous versions of Windows. In the date and time section in time and language you can now resynchronize your clock just by clicking sync now. I know before what I used to have to do if the clock went out of sync for any reason was turn off set the time automatically and turn it back on again that done the same thing but now there's a button there just one click you can do it with that. An option that's been added 
to uh, the sign-in section or the sign-in options is sign-in with a security key. So uh, you can actually plug a USB stick into your computer with a special file on it which will allow you to sign into your computer without a password. Um, this is all well and good, but if anything goes wrong with that security key or it goes missing, the dog eats it or something like that, then uh, you could end up locking yourself out of the, the computer. Another feature that Microsoft have added in the privacy section here is to allow your computer to make phone calls through any mobile phone that's linked to your computer. It'll be interesting to see how this uh, pans out um, and if it's very popular, I, I, I don't know. The, uh, the Windows Update screen has changed a little bit as well. So you've got options here to pause updates for seven days there, change the active hours, that's on the main screen now, view your update history and uh, advanced options there. If we click on pause updates for seven days, you'll notice, there you go, it says updates are paused and they won't resume until seven days later. Or we've got an option here to resume. In advanced options, we've got an option there to pause updates until a particular date within the next seven days. So, uh, so we can do that. In the troubleshooting section of update and security, uh, there's a new feature here, recommended troubleshooting, and that will list any recommended troubleshooting steps to keep your system running smoothly. It says when available we'll show additional recommendations below that we think will improve your experience. If you run a recommended troubleshooter and the problem comes back we'll automatically try to fix it for you again. So uh, that's a good little feature. Whether or not it actually benefits you in most uh, problems uh, we we've yet to see on that one. In uh, the virus protection now, if you're using uh, Windows Defender that comes with Windows 10, um, there is now an optional tamper protection which uh, is actually switched on as standard, which uh, basically stops others from tampering with important security features. This feature is not available though, I understand, if you're using another antivirus such as Norton, AVG, Avast, Avira, Nod32, Kaspersky, um, etc, etc. So there we go, that's just a brief roundup of some of the new features in Microsoft's Windows 10 April 2019 version 1903 update coming to your computer very very soon now there may be some more added features because it's not actually been officially released as I'm recording this video some of these features might have been taken away so if you haven't got all these features I've mentioned then uh, don't panic they may be coming in a later update thanks for watching don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel just Google Chris Wait YouTube and don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.